Eunice. Structural isomers. Oh, if you take, for example, a sofa, a cart, a very dangerous looking saw blade, and a thruster, there are different ways that you can arrange them. And you can get machines with different properties. And this is very similar to structural isomerism. You have to break apart and then rearrange the atoms in a molecule to get the isomers, the structural isomers. Structural isomers. All right, let's start with the IB definition. Compounds with the same molecular formula, but different arrangement of atoms. And that really means, in oranges, my explanation, that they're made by breaking bonds and then making them between different atoms. The classic example, C2H6O. Well, you need to remember that carbon can have four bonds, hydrogen one and oxygen two. Almost always that's true with organic chemistry. So there's my first isomer. That's actually ethanol. There's an OH at one end. Well, you might think the second isomer could be made by putting the O into that position, but you'd be wrong. The OH there is it actually in the same position. And why is that? It's at the bottom. It was at the side last time. And that's because there's free rotation around that bond there. Each of those green bonds is essentially the same position because it rotates around. They can swap places. What about if I put it over to the left? No. That's still the same because I've rotated it around the y-axis here, just looking at the molecule from the other side. And finally, what if I put the oxygen at the top there? Is that any different to the others we've seen? No, that's the same as well. You've rotated it around the x-axis there. So it doesn't matter where the OH is, it's all going to be the same. So what's the second isomer? Well, if you put the oxygen in the middle, and you're allowed to do that, Oxygen can have two bonds. Then you have the second of the two isomers. That's an ether. All right, next one is butane. Or just ate peanut butter. All right, so the first one is four in a row. I'm not drawing in the hydrogens, but the IB will take a point off of you if you don't draw them in. And you might think that's the second isomer, but you'd be wrong because all you've done is put a cheeky bend at the end there. No, that's the same as the linear isomer. What about this kind of S-shaped one? Nope. All you've done is put two bends in it. It's still linear butane. Four in a row. Doesn't count. You're going to have to break a bond and remake it somewhere else. So I'll snap off the top one and put it at the end there. Lovely. So that is a different isomer. It's actually a T-shaped as opposed to the other one, which was more of an I-shape. Drawing out the skeletal formulas might make it easier to examine. These are zigzags. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that those two are different. Are there any more? No. If you find any more, you're wrong. So you can have one fluorobutane, the fluorine's on the first carbon, two fluorobutane, it's on the second carbon. What about that? No, those two, those two aren't any different. All I've done is rotate the molecule. I'm essentially looking at it from the other side. They don't count. There is no four fluoro or three fluorobutane. Most people stop on the third isomer. The first one is where the fluorine is in the middle at the bottom. And the other fluorine can go in any of the nine positions. It's all the same. Those nine positions are the same for the fourth and final isomer. That fluorine is attached to a carbon that's attached to three other carbons, which is different if the fluorine is moved over to there, where it's attached to a carbon that's attached to only one other carbon. Four isomers in total. 
OK, you can tie the answers down with different functional groups as well. So it must be an ester or a carboxylic acid. That's the ester link right there. And the carboxylic acid is there. So how many isomers? Well, you could draw them out if you wanted to. Pause the video. Welcome back. So I have propanoic acid at the bottom. Three carbons, six hydrogens, two oxygens. Every carbon has four bonds. Every hydrogen has one. Oxygen has two. Once again, you've got to draw in the hydrogens. I don't. And finally, it looks similar, but it really isn't. Even if you flip them around, they're, they're, still, they're still different. And that is methyl ethanoate. Bromofluoropropane. There are five isomers for that. And there are the names. And another video finished.